What's up, sports bettors? Pretty awesome stuff. Prize Picks for Christmas is offering a festive flex Friday, basically boosting the payouts on your entries. So as a sharp sports better, that's what we love. I'm already looking for profitable picks, and then as a part of this Christmas promo, Prize Picks is going to give me an additional, you know, few percent. That sounds pretty incredible. So let's get into the plays I have. I'm going to show you how I found them, um, and hopefully it's helpful. So the first play I have is Matt Boldy right here, under three shots on goal. So why do I like this? Well, take a look. Every sports book has his line at two and a half shots on goal. Underdog Fantasy, a direct competitor to prize picks, also has his line at two and a half shots on goal. So this screen, this is called the Odds Jam screen. It's really useful for essentially comparing lines set at different levels. Like I scan this screen like a day trader. I'm hunting through the market looking for value, and I see, whoa, Prize Picks has this line at three. All the books and their direct competitor have it at two and a half. Seems like there's value on the under, right? So we want to take under three. If he has exactly three shots on goal, Matt Boldy, we're going to push on Prize Picks. Anyone who were to place this bet on a sports book or underdog is going to lose. So we're getting value, right? Just like a data driven investor, a profitable investor, we're looking for value in the market as a sharp better. That's the first no brainer play. You literally have to be on. When there's two and a half versus three on underdog fantasy versus prize picks, it doesn't matter if you're looking at player shots on goal, player rebounds, player assists. That's something you want to be looking at because that is a big discrepancy. Anyways, let's go on. Next, I have um, plays from the Odds Jam arbitrage tool as well as the EV tool. So the EV tool is really simple to use. It literally, you know, you'll just see the bet and bold with a circle around it. That is a mathematically profitable five pick flex play, you know, entry on prize picks or a pick four or five pick flex play. So, you know, the EV tool, unlike the odd screen, is incredible. This is the tool I use most for comparing lines set at the same level. So here you can see Paris Campbell and Colts Vikings. You know, every sports book has his line at over under three and a half receptions, as well as prize picks has his line at that level, right? And again, like on prize picks, they don't vary your payouts. Depending on if you select the overs or the unders, you'll notice, you know, here it's like 20 to win 60, regardless of if we take both unders, both overs. So this platform, if you're new to it, is what I call a fixed parlay platform. Like they're not varying your payouts, depending on if you select the overs or the unders, which is why you'll notice on Odds Jam, the odds for the over and the under are always the same. So the strategy for making money on prize picks is you ruthlessly compare the lines on prize picks to those on the sports books. You know you're getting minus 119 odds about in a five pick flex play. So we just wanna hunt for where the sports books have the over or the under super juiced, as you can see right here, right? So here we have an NFL pick, we have some NHL picks, I literally bet all of these, right? I want as many picks as possible for this promo. I have so many bets on prize picks. So here, the under is super favored. Here, the over is super favored. You know, and this plays the most profitable. So typically, I just keep my odds jam sorted to see the sports books I want to see, and I want to see the highest profit margin bets first. And what you'll see is like, wow, every sports book is juicing this you know, minus 135 to minus 148, minus 136 to minus 148. So clearly we're getting pretty dang good value on prize picks at minus 119. You know, I love that. Like, I love how sports books have different odds. Um, and the reason is because making money sports betting becomes so easy. You just ruthlessly compare lines between bookmakers and you find value like Paris Campbell, over three and a half receptions. So I locked in this play, as well as all these other ones. Jalen Brown over two and a half turnovers. Ryan O'Reilly over one and a half shots on goal. Another NFL play. 
Tatum under three and a half threes and Fultz under four and a half assists. Again, just follow the data. Take your gut out of sports betting. Take the BS out of sports betting. You know, the market, the sports books, they invest hundreds of millions of dollars into their ability to set lines. And it's a market, right? It's based on supply and demand. So just like the price of a stock, Apple stock, is based on supply and demand, same thing in sports betting. If a bunch of action comes in on Tatum under three and a half rebounds, you know, the line will move on sports books. So their odds are reflective of win probabilities, you know? So we want to hunt for value. So sports books imply win probabilities through their odds. If something's a 1.45 to one favorite, you know, it's because it's more likely to occur. The over is more likely to occur, according to DraftKings, than the under. That's why they give you worse odds on the over, right? Minus 200 favorite means a 2 to 1 favorite. It's 2 to 1 to occur, 66.6% to occur. So long story short, I also played a bunch of plays from the EV page. And then finally, I used uh, two more tools. So the first is the arbitrage tool. So arbitrage means risk-free money. You know, sports books, they have different odds from one another. So sometimes you'll notice such big discrepancies that you can place a bet on two sports books and earn a risk-free profit. So it's a good tool for spotting line discrepancies, for spotting value. Again, the hardest part about making money on prize picks is this platform has, you know, tens of thousands of odds. Like there's so much crap you can bet every single day. So you're not going to be able to manually search through all these lines and look for value. Lines are constantly moving around. I mean, there's, you know, dozens of sports books. They're all moving around lines all the time. Player gets injured, lines move. Weather changes in the NFL, lines move. Sharp action comes in, lines move. Right? This market's dynamic. It's like thinking the price of a stock is static all day long. That's not true. Right? It's constantly moving due to supply and demand. So Odds Jam, the entire point of all these tools is just to make data actionable. So here we can see Koo, right? Two sports books have the under really heavily juiced. So we want to be on the under. DraftKings is saying this is a 1.5 to one favorite. So a 60% favorite. And again, like, you know, why isn't this on the EV tool? It's because Pinnacle or Bet Online, you know, no sharp sports books are posting lines. So it's just on the ARB tool. So final play I have, it's free to line shop on Odds Jam. Line shop just means like browse odds, right? So Odds Jam, you know, has millions of odds updating in real time and it's completely free. Any game you wanna look at, any market you wanna look at, any sport you wanna look at, it's free to browse odds, right? So what I noticed is, hey, Durant, his line on prize picks, is over under 26 and a half points. Every sports book, 27 and a half or 28 and a half. So prize picks is two points off from the rest of the market or a point off depending on the sports book. But sports books have the over 27 and a half juice towards the over. For the most part, Pinnacle has the over 27 and a half at minus 124. We're getting minus 119 implied odds on prize picks. So we're getting five cents better right? We're getting five cents better on prize picks and a whole point better. That's called finding value and finding an edge, right? You want to be all over this. If Durant has 27 points, we're winning on prize picks, right? We're losing on all the sports books, right? Except for FanDuel, because FanDuel, you can see they offer these alternate lines on player point totals. And Odds Jam has everything, right? We have every line. Millions of odds updating in real time to help you make better bets. Anyways, hopefully this was helpful. Let's make money. So what are my picks? If you want to see my exact entries, they're all right here from today. So I have three. Garland under two and a half rebounds. Stort over seven and a half. Fields under 14 and a half completions. Paris Campbell, which we saw on the EV tool, over three and a half receptions. Cooper under four and a half. All of these plays were just found on the EV tool or the screen or the ARB tool or just line shopping. That's how I find literally all my plays. 
data-driven sports betting, looking for plays with an edge we can quantify. No BS. No, oh, Amari Cooper, you know, his girlfriend hurt his feelings, so take the... No, none of that BS, right? Just looking for value in the data. Next, Jalen Brown over two and a half turnovers. That was from the EV tool. Tatum under three and a half EV tool. Levine over two and a half threes EV tool, EV tool screen. That's the play we went through on the screen. And then final pick, we have Westbrook over five rebounds. That was from the screen, some hockey prop. And then here were some of the other plays we discussed. So 100 to win 1.5K on all these plays. You know, you can pause the video and take a look at them exactly if you want to tail them and lock them in. They're profitable in a five-pick flex play or a six-pick flex play. So feel free to tail them if they're still available. Again, lines can move at any time. If some of these lines move, you know, I gave you 15 picks. If lines move, if four of them move, take the other 11. Let's make some money.